Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining me. I'm Cheryl. This is Your Journey Yoga. And today, just a really nice flow to help you feel your very best to just work out some kinks and get the energy flowing and hopefully get a smile on your face and just lighten up the load a little bit that we tend to carry every day. So we will get head to toe. Um, if you do need to stop, please do. If something doesn't feel fantastic to you today, know that it is your option to do a different pose, to take a break, to just grab a drink of water. Water. All right, so without further ado, my friends, <clears throat> give yourself plenty of room towards the top of your mat. We're going to slide on down uh, and just sitting back onto those heels. Let's bring the hands forward, keeping the big toes touching, open up those knees, and just sit those sit bones back as you extend the arms out nice and long. Just take your time coming down. Oh, gosh. And just let your forehead come to rest. Mm, how's your extended child's pose? What are you feeling and where? So as we work to find the best version of ourselves, we might have to work through a little bit. It's all good. I want you to feel all the feels. I want you to experience everything that your practice has to offer today, the things that are challenging, the things that are easy where you feel the work, where you feel the release. Inhale, lift just slightly, walk your hands out to the right, reaching through your left fingertips and just settle your tummy and chest down towards that right leg. You can stack your right hand underneath you or your fist. <clears throat> just really keep working through that left arm. Good stretch all the way down that left side. Inhale, lift, just slightly walk those hands through center, and then let's take those hands over to the left, reach to those right fingertips, and slowly releasing the weight of the upper body down towards that left leg, and again, you're welcome to stack your fists, stack your hand, or keep those arms extended, just really focusing on that right hand and the right side of the body, getting into that lower back, through the ribs and the waist, shoulder, arm. Inhale, lift just slightly, walk those hands back through center, and sit it back once again. Extended child's pose, those sit bones reaching back towards your heels, fingertips extending towards the top of your mat. We're going to inhale, hollowing the tummy and chest, just kind of rolling your body forward. And then as you exhale, a little release of those hips down towards the earth. Keep your core strong with those knees wide. Mm, yep, getting into those hips. Maybe a little lift of your gaze, listen to your body, and then slowly, gently pressing it back. We're going to do that one more time. On your next inhale, a rolling, hollowing through the chest, knees stay open wide. We lengthen and reach, so if just staying long through the spine is enough stretch for you, stay there. If it feels good to you, let those hips drop just a little bit. A little lift of your gaze. And inhale it back to a neutral spine. Press through the tops of the feet to close those knees. Modified plank. Crocodile down. Press it through up dog. Tuck your toes, lift your hips. And we come to our down dog. Adjust your hands and your feet however you need to. Allow those heels to sink towards the mat, head heavy, soften that face. Let's inhale up to the balls of the feet, hollowing your tummy and chest, just rolling it out into a plank position. And then exhale, tuck your chin, hollow your chest, hollow your tummy, lift your sit bones to the sky, high up on the balls of the feet, and then let those heels sink. Let's do that again. Inhale up to the balls of the feet, hollowing the tummy and chest. Slowly we level it out to plank. Tuck the chin, hollow the chest, hollow the tummy, lift your spine, lift your sit bones, and then let your heels gently sink. We shift our weight to our left foot, right toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that right foot through. 
Pulling that left knee in underneath the hips, we lift the chest, placing the hands to the top of the right thigh. A little pelvic tilt, squeezing the buns, drawing the bottom of the pelvis forward, top of the pelvis back. Chest remains tall, just relax those shoulders. Breathe, getting in through the front of that left leg, activating those glutes, the muscles through that hip girdle, engaging those lower abdominals. What do you feel? Gently releasing that intensity, bringing the hands on either side of your foot, slide that left leg back as much as you wish and allow those hips to be heavy. Let's once again place the hands to the top of that right thigh, leaning in. Extending left arm out, lift it high, arch it back. Breathe. A little lean to the right. Mm, that feels good. And inhale it back to center, releasing that left arm around behind you, resting your hand on the back of the thigh or your calf. Right arm extends out and up. Maybe turn and take your gaze towards your back heel, challenging your balance a little bit, noticing what muscles fire to keep you steady. Inhaling it back up, windmilling that left arm up and over, placing your hand along the inside of that right foot, tuck the back toes, lift and extend that leg, rotate and reach, right arm to the sky. Oh, those rotations, so good. Ringing out tension and tightness in the spine, promoting good healthy digestion. With that right leg forward, this beautiful stretch, right through that right hip. Slowly lower that right arm straight back. Spread your fingers wide and see how far back you can reach. Opening the chest. Stacking those shoulders. Breathe. Inhale, lift that right arm to the sky. And as you exhale, releasing your hand down. One hand on either side of your foot. Lift your hips, sweep it back. And extend right leg to the sky. Add a flex of the right foot, a bend of the right knee, and draw your heel towards your bottom. As you exhale, sweep that right knee from the right side of the mat to the left side of the mat. Underneath that left leg, once again, open it up and press it back to your three-legged dog. Again, exhale, sweep that knee from right to left. Open it again and press it back to your three-legged dog. Let's do that once more. Exhale, bent knee, sweep it across. Open it up and press it back. Extending right leg to the sky, slowly releasing it down to down dog. Holding your down dog or inhale it to high plank. Toes or knees, crocodile down. Press it through up dog and exhale to down dog. Heels sinking, head heavy. Add a little tip of the pelvis, reach your sit bones high. Shifting your weight to your right foot, left toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that left foot through. Let's draw that right knee in underneath the hip, lifting the chest, placing the hands to the top of that left thigh. And breathe. Shoulders soft, little pelvic tilt, squeeze those buns. So as we tip that pelvis and squeeze those buns, feeling that really nice stretch through the front of that right leg, your psoas, that big muscle deep inside. And when it's really tight or angry, it can wreak havoc on that lower back. So really squeeze, get in there. If you don't feel it, mm, celebrate that. If you're feeling it, hmm, celebrate that because we're letting go of some of that tension. Gently release the intensity, core strong, hinge it forward, hands on either side of your foot. Go ahead and slide that right leg back as much or as little as you wish. Hands can stay down or we lift the hands to the top of the thigh. Hips are heavy. Breathe, extending right arm out, lift it high, arch it back as much as feels right to you. As we reach back, we elongate all of the muscles, the tendons, the ligaments, the fascia along the front of the body. A little lean to the left, if you like. Oof, deeper stretch. Breathe. What are you feeling today? Did you work out hard yesterday? Were you a lump yesterday? Inhale it back to center. 
Circling that right arm around behind. Ooh, that feels good through the shoulder. Placing the hand to the back of the thigh or to your calf. Left arm extends out and up. Reaching back. Feels good to you. Turn your gaze towards your back heel. Just how's your body responding? How's your breath responding? Don't judge. Don't criticize. Just be aware. Be kind. Show yourself some grace. And inhale it back up, windmill that right arm up and over, placing that right hand to the inside of the left knee foot, tuck the back toes, lift the knee and extend, reaching left arm to the sky, lifting out of that right shoulder as much rotation as you can create, as much extension as you can create, create, how's your breath? Spread your fingers wide and reach and then slowly lower your arm back reaching towards the back of your mat, gazing out over that left shoulder. Can you rotate any deeper? Oh my gosh, yes. How's your breath? Make sure you're not holding your breath. Easy to do when we twist. Your breath holds the power of letting go, of energizing and calming all at the same time. Inhale, reach to the sky, and exhale, release your left hand down. Hand on either side of your foot, lift your hips, sweep it back and extend left leg to the sky. Add a flex of that left foot, a bend of that left knee and draw your heel towards your bum. Breathe, remember that sweeping motion? We're gonna do it again on this side. As you exhale, that knee comes down, crossing to the right side of your mat, sweeping it back open and pressing it back to your three-legged dog. Exhaling, sweep it down and across, open it up and press it back. One more time, sweep it across, open it up and press it back. Extending left leg to the sky, slowly releasing down to down dog and let's alternate bending knees, walk it out. Slow, big, deep breaths. We inhale up to the balls of the feet. Exhale, press the chest and shoulders toward your thighs. Reach your sit bones high. And exhale, let your heels gently sink. We inhale it to high plank. We're going to walk those feet in as you bend your knees. As we come to a floating tabletop, finding your breath. We're just going to sway the knees from right to left. From right to left, being mindful of your toes, lightening it up on that opposite foot when you're twisting, firing up those obliques, firing up those shoulders, strong, let's do one more each side, come back to that hovering tabletop, walk your feet back to plank, lift your hips to down dog. And let's inhale up to the balls of the feet. As you exhale, spin your toes in, heels out, and let those heels gently sink. Stretching through the outer ankles. A little different stretch for your hips into that lower back. Inhale, lift to the balls of the feet. Spin those heels back towards one another, and then gently let your heels sink. Taking the gaze between your hands, walk your feet in to forward fold. Shift your weight to your heels and let's begin to bend those knees. Much or as little as you like. You can come down low or you can keep your bum a little bit higher. And then exhale, slowly extend those legs. Again, weight in the heels, bend those knees. Low as feels right to you. And exhale, extend those legs. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, bend, lowering down. Just a nice stretch through that lower back. Firing up those legs. And then as you exhale, ooh, yeah, back of the legs getting some love. Hanging in that forward fold. Taking your time, slowly roll it up. Ragdoll. As you reach the top, roll those shoulders up and back and let your shoulders 
slide down and away. Do that again. Big shoulder roll. Take it up and back. And let those shoulders slide down and away. Give those arms a little shake. Breathe. And then let those arms be heavy. Open those beautiful eyes. Take a big breath in. Roll those shoulders up and back. Palms open to the front. Inhale, reach to the sky. Interlace your fingers. Turn your palms to the sky. And as you exhale, arch it back. Inhaling it up nice and tall. Pull the hands to heart center. Shift your weight to your left foot. Right knee lifts to 90 degrees. And flex your foot. Find your breath. As you exhale, press that right foot straight back as you hinge forward to warrior three. Hips remain parallel. We lengthen and extend through the crown of the head, out through that right heel. We slowly come back up, drawing that right knee forward to 90 degrees. We're going to do that two more times. As you exhale, hinge it forward to warrior three. And inhale it back up, knee bent. Let's do that once more. Hinging it forward, warrior three, keep those hips level. Press through that back heel, and we rise. Extending left arm out to a T, right hand to the outside of that right thigh. And we slowly open that right leg out to the side. Breathe, and turning and taking your gaze out over that left arm. Close your eyes. Slowly drawing that right knee back to center, gazing back to center, pulling the hands to center, and gently release it out. Roll out your ankle, stretch your toes, get rid of the wiggles, whatever you need to do. And we pull those hands back to heart center. Interlace your fingers, press your palms out and up, arch it back. Ah, oh, that just feels so good. Inhaling it up nice and tall, and as you exhale, a little rotation to the right as we reach up and back with our gaze. Inhaling it back to center, and exhale, a little rotation to the left as we take our gaze up and back. Inhaling it back to center. Pull the hands to heart center. Shift your weight to your right foot. Left knee lifts to 90 degrees. And flex your foot. Core is strong. As you exhale, press that left foot straight back as you hinge forward to warrior three. Hips stay level as possible. Working to create a horizontal line from the crown of the head out through that left heel. Inhale and we rise, drawing that left knee back into 90 degrees. And exhale, press it back. We've got two more. Now I'm noticing if this side feels a little easier, a little more challenging. Really firing up the glutes and the hamstrings, pulling that knee back through to stand tall. Knee to 90, we have one more time. Exhale, press it back. Legs strong. Balance, finding that success. If you need to hold on to something, that's absolutely fine. Anytime we need support, take it. And then slowly we rise. Once again, lifting that knee to 90. Extending right arm out to a T. Left hand supporting underneath that left thigh. And slowly open that left leg out to the left. A little hip mobility. As we challenge our balance, we turn and take our gaze out over that right arm. Find your breath. We bring our gaze back to center, drawing that knee back to center, hands to heart center, and gently step it out. Roll out your ankle, stretch your toes, get rid of the wiggles with the arms, give those shoulders a big roll up and back to mountain. Inhale, reach to the sky. And as you exhale, open wide. Take a giant step back. Open those toes out to the outside corners of your mat. Rotate palms to the sky. Inhale, reach to the sky. Sunflowers, four of them. Grand plie. Inhale, reach. Exhale, grand plie. Sweep those arms down and then reach to the sky. Squeeze your buttons. Two more times. And reach again, strong through those legs. Beautiful length through the arms. 
One more time. Inhale, reach, interlace your fingers, turn your palms to the sky. As you exhale, rotate to the left, little gaze back, up and over. Beautiful stretch down that right side. Inhale, swinging it back to center. And exhale, oh, take it up and right. Gazing up towards the sky. Just a little rotation through the torso. Inhaling it, swinging it back to center. Let's heel toe those feet in once. Core strong. We sweep it to the left. Around and down. Open it up. Oh, and up nice and tall. Keeping that core strong. Take it to the right. Sweep it down. Around. And up. One more time each direction. Exhale, sweep it. Around and up. And one more time. Around and up. Release those arms. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Roll those shoulders up and back. Core strong, hinge it forward. Let's take it all the way over. And so with our little narrower stance, plenty of room for that upper body to come forward. Hands can remain resting on the small of the back. If you have tighter shoulders and you perhaps need a strap, maybe you don't have a strap, you can use a dog leash, you can use a towel, you can use a long sock, whatever you need. If it feels right to you, roll those shoulders up and back and lift your hands towards the sky. Stretching the shoulders. Oh my goodness, this beautiful stretch on the backs of the legs into that lower back. And just breathe. Little shift of your weight forward into your toes. Palms can be touching or those hands can be separated, the palms. Again, if you're taking a hold of a dog leash, your strap, maybe the arms are separated, whatever you need to do to take care of you. And slowly lower those hands down to the small of the back. Let's gently release those arms and let them hang. Let's heel toe those feet in once more, so just a little bit wider than the width of your hips. Toes are slightly turned open, core is strong, and we're going to slowly bend the knees. And we're going to come down to a nice flat back to frog. Crown of the head pointing straight ahead, tailbone pointing straight back. And I just want you to sway side to side. Your feet can move, hips are moving, checking in. And then come back to center when you're ready. Now checking in with your body. Do we need to stay right here? You can put blocks, stacking blocks underneath your bum to try and relax just a little bit more. Or if your body says, yeah, I'm ready, start to lower your bottom, lifting your chest and pulling your hands to heart center. Breathe, yogi squat or garland. Adjust however you need to adjust. Release that left hand down. Right arm reaches up as high as you can reach. We circle that right arm around behind the back, left arm reaching in front, wrapping around. Can you lock your fingertips? Breathe. If you can't quite find them, it's okay. Use that strap if you had your strap. Take your gaze up. Breathe. And gently release, coming back to your yogi squat. And we take it to the other side. Right hand down, left arm reaches. High as you can reach. What do you feel? Where? Circling that left arm around behind your back, right hand in front of that knee, wrap it around. Can you find your fingertips? Lock them if you can find them. Turn and take your gaze up towards the sky. Breathe. And we gently release those hands coming back to our yogi squat. Release your hands to the mat. We're going to shift our weight to our left foot, and we're going to extend that left leg out, coming down to the sole of your foot. Breathe. Now we're going to take those hands supporting us as we sweep to the other side and allow those left toes to lift. And here we go back through to center and bending that left knee. Hello, inner thigh. Hello, hips. And again, we switch one more time. Breathe. Find your breath. And we come back through to center, pulling that right leg back in. 
slowly releasing your bottom back down. And we lift those hands to yogi squat. And rise, slow and steady. Straight through the crown of the head, all the way up, holy legs. As you exhale, arch it back, palms gently touch. Uh, just as much as feels good to you. Inhaling it up nice and tall, pull the hands to heart center. We shift and step to the top of the mat, to mountain. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, swan dive to forward fold. Inhale up to monkey half lift. Exhale down, walk, step, or hop to high plank. Breathe, holding your plank, toes or knees. You want to challenge yourself a little bit? Bend your elbows. We're going to take that right knee up to the right elbow. Touch it. Step it back. Right knee through center. And step it back. Right knee, left elbow. Step it back. Extend those arms. Right knee through center and place your left knee or that right knee down. Left leg is long to our pigeon pose. Sitting up nice and tall. If your lower back says, man, this does not feel great to me, bring your hands forward or you can come all the way down into sleeping pigeon if that feels better to you. Otherwise, stay up nice and tall. Placing that right hand to the outside of the right knee, left arm circles out and around behind, draw your back foot in. You can use that strap again if you have it handy, wrapping it around your ankle, holding on and drawing your heel in. Breathe. Let's turn our gaze forward and a little tuck of your chin down towards your chest. As we pull the heel in, so many beautiful stretches happening. Where's the one place that you feel it the most? Now slowly lift your gaze, a little or a lot. We lower our gaze and gently release that back foot and let's walk it forward. Stacking the hands, relaxing the forehead to the back of the hands. We take a big breath in and squeeze every muscle in that lower body. And then exhale, surrender down. One more time, inhale, squeeze. And exhale, release. Find your breath. And let's slowly walk those hands back up. Only when you're ready, take your time. We tuck the back toes, lift the hips, draw that right foot back up, and step it back. Lift your hips to down dog. And let's sway those hips side to side. Coming back to center, now bending that right knee and just kind of an exaggerated uh, swaying of the hips as you bend the knee, allowing that knee to kind of come underneath you. Just exaggerate it and see what you feel. Feels pretty good, allowing those feet to shift, whatever feels right. Let's do one more each side. A little stretch of those toes. Mm, through the hips and to that lower back. Coming back to center and let your heels sink. Add a little tip of the pelvis, reach your sit bones high, and we inhale it to high plank. Hold your plank. If you like, a slight bend in your elbows. Let's draw that left knee in towards the left elbow. Touch it, step it back. Left knee comes in through center. And step it back, keeping that core strong. Left knee to right elbow. Step it back. Extend those arms. Sweep that right knee through to center. And place your leg down to pigeon. Right leg is extended out behind us. 
chest is lifted, unless that's not great for your lower back, then yep, you're going to adjust however you need to adjust. We're going to keep those hips stacked rather than listing over onto that left hip. Really getting into that beautiful pigeon, stretching through the front of that right leg, into that left hip, and groin. Breathe. Slow your breath down. Left hand to the outside of that left knee, right arm extends out, circle it around, and draw that back foot in. Can you find it? Take a hold of it if you can find it. And if you hold on along the inside of your foot, you get the added bonus of this great chest and shoulder stretch, drawing your heel in towards your bottom. We turn and take our gaze out over that right shoulder. You can tuck your chin down, you can close your eyes. And then slowly turn your gaze towards front with a little tuck of your chin down towards that left collarbone. Breathe. Slowly we begin to lift our gaze, taking our gaze towards the sky. Mm, just celebrating the medicine of movement. Slowly bringing your gaze back to neutral, releasing that back foot, circling that right arm back up and over, and let's walk it forward to Sleeping Pigeon. Stacking the hands, relaxing the forehead. We take a big breath in and squeeze every muscle in that lower body. Feel yourself lifted a little bit, and then exhale, release. Inhale, squeeze, and exhale, sink. Just stay here for a moment. I want you to think of one thing that you've been holding on to that may not be the very best thing for you to hold on to, and I want you to give yourself permission to let it go mentally, emotionally, physically. Let it go. Negative thoughts, think of them as rocks. And as you put them in your pockets, as you move along, your pockets can get pretty heavy. Every now and again, give yourself permission to take a rock out of your pocket, acknowledge it, and then give it a heave. Throw it as far away from you as possible. Let it go. And slowly walk your hands back up. Hands on either side of your knee. We tuck the back toes, lift, uh, and draw that left foot in. Step it back to plank and lift your hips to down dog. Burdens get heavy, making sure that they're yours and you're not just carrying everybody else's. For sure, let go of everybody else's because there's nothing you can do about them, my friend. They're not yours to carry. You can be supportive, you can be kind, you can give hugs, words of encouragement, but you can't fix it. Inhale up to the balls of the feet, and as you exhale, press your chest and shoulders towards your thighs, reach your sit bones high, and exhale, let your heels to sink. Inhaling to high plank, let's take it slow and steady all the way down. Isn't that weird that we choose to carry heavy things for other people? When our loads can be pretty heavy just themselves, press it through up dog. That's because you're a good person. And tuck your uh, knees down and sit it back. We just want to help, right? We want to make things easier for others. But first, got to take care of yourself. Making sure you've got the tools, that you've got the energy. Mm, it's good stuff, taking care of others. But it feels pretty darn good to take care of yourself, too. And here we are doing just that, and I thank you. Inhale, circle the hands back by your hips. Big circle of those arms up and overhead as you come up to a kneeling position. Exhale, sit it back to your heels, hands to heart center. 
Inhale, rise, reach to the sky. As you exhale, reach back with that right hand. Open your chest, lengthen through those left fingertips. Inhale, reach to the sky. And exhale, sit it back, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach. Exhale, reach it back with that left hand, right arm to the sky. Inhale, both arms come up. And exhale, sit it back to the heels. Let's do that one more time each side. Inhale, reach. Exhale, open. Inhale, reach. And exhale, sit. One more time. Inhale, reach. Exhale, open. Inhale, reach. And exhale, sit. Let's release one hand and one hip. Sweep your feet around and slide on down towards the top of your mat. Mm. Bring in the hands behind your thighs. Let's rock it back, transitioning your hands down towards your feet. We extend one leg and then the other leg. Bend the first leg and then the second. Now let's do the opposite. Extend the leg and extend. Bend the first leg and bend the second. Bringing the toes to touch, soles of the feet to touch. We transfer our hands to the inside and support just above our ankles. Elbows just along the inner thighs and we open us up to a butterfly pose. And as we are balancing our butterfly, we are working those core muscles. We lift through the crown of the head, we open that chest supporting those hands, supporting those legs. Breathe. And gently pull the hands back through, bring the knees back together. Hands are supporting behind those thighs. Extend your legs a little or a lot. We reach up with those fingertips. If you need support, keep the support. If you don't need it, challenge yourself. Bending the knees. And slowly, let's take it back, all the way down, just slow, hollowing out and then drawing the knees in. Bringing the hands behind your thighs once again or behind those calves, extend your legs. Let's flex those feet, extending those legs, getting that length all the way down the backs of the legs. Now using the strength of the arms, start to pull those legs in. As much or as little as you like, you're welcome to wrap the forearms around the backs of the calves, fingertips, pointing towards your heels. Use the strength of your arms to pull those legs in. Head, shoulders, relax to the mat. Feeling that nice little spot in that middle back, that little pressure massage. Breathe, now just gently release. Knees come to the chest, hands to the shins, rock side to side. Coming back to center, extending those arms out to a T. Let's pull those knees out and away from us to about a 90 degree bend. And we're going to slowly lower the knees to the right, allowing the legs to come all the way down. And then turn and take your gaze out over that left arm. Right hand, you're welcome to rest it on your left knee if you like. Ah, oh, just let yourself melt. Let down your guard, let go of the tension. Allow yourself to ring out anything that's not going to serve us well today. Any energies that might compromise your positive energy, let it go. Releasing that right hand, core strong, slowly bringing those knees back to center, gazing back to center. And then we slowly take those knees to the left, keeping that 90 degrees. And we turn and take our gaze out over that right arm. Left hand can rest on the top of that right knee if you like. Checking in with the back, the neck, the shoulder, the hip. Close your eyes. We just take a moment to really check in.
Releasing that left hand, slowly rolling it back to center. Gazing back to center, extend those legs to the sky. Breathe. A little external rotation through those hips. Your heels remain touching, but your toes pull apart. And slowly, either one leg at a time or both legs at the same time, we lower those legs, keeping that belly button drawn in, keeping the small of the back against the earth, just slowly taking your time, allowing the heels to find the earth. And again, one leg at a time or both, we bring our hands down by our sides once both feet have found the ground. And we turn the palms to the sky. Take a minute, get rid of the wiggles, adjust how you need to adjust. If you are more comfortable in a position other than on your back, Take a moment to find a place that feels good. Softening the fingers, relaxing the eyes, letting go of any tension in the jaw. And we give ourselves permission to stop, to breathe. This amazing gift of stillness, an opportunity to replenish energies that we have so graciously given. We take a moment to transform any negative energies into those of positive more productive, more helpful energies. This gift of stillness after the movements allows time to assimilate all that we have accomplished today for our well-being. Recognizing that beautiful gift of movement and the medicine <laughs> that it's like just by moving, helping us to feel better, to move more efficiently. Mind, body, and spirit connected once again through our breath. We recognize the peaks and valleys of life. Some days definitely more challenging than others. But those challenging days, my friend, uh, those valleys, take in the scenery. Embrace the challenge. Know that you have within you all that it takes to once again reach that peak. And if you're feeling you don't have the energy, you don't have those talents today, look around, ask for help. Not for someone to do it for you, but to assist you on getting back up to that peak. And if by chance today you are at the peak and the sun is shining on your face and there's this beautiful little breeze and the view is amazing, Ah, uh, look around, take it in. What a gift. So wherever you are in life, there is a gift, a lesson, someone there to hold your hand, a beautiful view, sunshine on your face. Wherever you are today, my friend, you got this. Quiet your mind. Slow your breath. Be present in this moment. 
what will be gone in the blink of an eye. Taking the time you need as you're ready. Start to wiggle your fingers, move your hands, your toes, your feet, the ankles. You're welcome to stretch your limbs. And just hold on to that positive energy, that amazing sense of well-being. Feeling strong and happy and healthy. That's my wish for you every day. Take your time, and whenever you're ready, drawing your knees in towards your chest, you are welcome to roll to one side and use the strength of the arms to help you come back up or rock yourself back up. We turn to face front, coming to easy pose. Sitting up tall, close your eyes. Take just a moment to roll those shoulders up and back. Turn your palms to the sky. Drape the wrists over the knees. A little touch of your index finger and thumb. A soft, gentle smile on your face. A couple more deep cleansing breaths. Let's gently open the eyes. Take a big breath in, reach to the sky. And as you exhale, pull your hands to heart center. I hope you feel amazing. Take care of yourselves and have the very best day. Until the next time, light love and namaste.